Well, a popular teacher gift used to be apples, but there's so much more to the fruit that's earning an A+. 7 News meteorologist Grant Roberts shows us why. A teacher and an apple is a long-standing tradition. Denny Bruce with Red Hill Orchard says he remembers it well. Give it to the teacher to try to impress her and hope you would be in her favor. But where did the tradition come from? Back in the 1700s in Denmark and Sweden, families would give teachers apples and potatoes as payment for teaching their children. It wasn't until the 19th century that it became popular in the United States. Thanks to John Chapman, or as many know him, Johnny Appleseed. In our area, apples aren't hard to find. Here in this area of, of the uh, North Carolina Hendersonville growing area, it's more like fresh market apples. During the course of apple season, you'll typically see apples like Honeycrisp and Ginger Gold being picked first. Gala will soon follow after that. Granny Smith apples will be toward the end of the season. And the benefits go beyond the classroom. An apple a day keeps the doctors away. Well, there is some truth to that. Dr. Charles Campbell has been in the nutrition business for more than 30 years. He says there are many perks to eating apples. Potassium is one of the ones that's important in the apple. There is also calcium and magnesium. And again, anything that grows in the earth is going to have some of the major minerals. All of these vitamins and minerals go a long way to contribute to your health. For example, diabetes. Uh, it's been found in studies to help reduce the incidence of diabetes. Dr. Campbell also says apples have been found to reduce asthma incidence in children. There are all types of apples, but it's the Granny Smith apples that have more benefit than others. The Granny Smith apple contains high levels of malic acid, and malic, malic acid is in the polyphenol family, and it helps with a number of different things like detoxing the liver. And of course, the healthier the liver, the better the body's health is overall. You want to make sure to eat the skin of the apple too. Most of the minerals and the malic acid is found in the skin of the apple, and you see a lot of people will peel the apple and throw away the best part of it. You should wash and clean the apple well, but you should eat the skin because it has a great deal of the nutrients in it. So whether it's an apple a day to keep the doctor away or the tradition of giving one to the teacher, Bruce says the traditions should stay. I think a lot of our traditions are about to go away and need to be kept, and that may be one of them that we need to do. 7 News meteorologist Grant Roberts. All right, well, if you've missed any of our back to school weather week stories from our meteorologists, you can always check them out at WSPA.com.